Namaskars and greetings to Honorable Minister for Forest, Sri Ishwar Kandreji, Minister for Minor Irrigation, Sri N.S. Bostrajgarh. My heartfelt uh, namaskars to you all, sir. And with uh, in a short time, when I sought up uh, appointment to with Karnataka government to talk about the issues between what we share regarding uh, forest issues and about uh, human and elephant uh, conflict and forest borders and poaching and red sandals, red sandal smuggling. So the moment asked an appointment immediately for accepting uh, our request within the shortest time possible, I am uh, quite grateful on behalf of uh, Andhra Pradesh government, on behalf of Honorable CM Sri Chandrababagar and my heartfelt greetings to one more time to from people of AP too. So felt though we are we shared borders, our meeting started with Kuvempu's uh, uh, a short verse from uh, Kuvempu, the poet Kuvempu, Kavi Sampada, Kuppali Venkatappa Puttappa. And as I said earlier, more than a minister, more than a deputy chief minister, I am a conservationist at heart. So the moment I was preparing for this meeting, so my office gave me about a small poetic verse from Kuppali, Venkatappa Puttappa, and it really, really uh, invoked a, a great feeling in me. I thought I would like to start with that. And I have great respect for Kannada language, and I feel sad to speak in English. Somewhere Far away England, we are, we, are, we are able to, and we are sad part is we are able to communicate in English. And in a way, it is good part, but the issue is being sharing borders. I wish I could have learned Canada to speak from my heart. But what my heart says is, I would like to recite the uh, poetic words of Kupali Venkata Pa Puttapa. Aranyakke. Hadu, it is a song for the forest. Aranyakke hadu hadu o munna, naunu nanna manada munde nilyutane. Aranyada arisina arula galinda, nannu manada arivina arula galu, teriyuttave. And to make it a little simple translation in English, before singing a song for the forest, I stand before my own mind. The forest gentle breeze opens up the petals of my mind's awareness. When I read this, I wish I could have learned Kannada. I wish I could have spoken in Kannada. And I felt this is actually I was telling my colleague today. This meeting triggered me to learn Kannada, to speak in Kannada. And that's the respect I want to show in coming years, learning the Kannada language and communicating. And in that way, more than more than MOUs. Uh, of course, MOUs are essential. Tiruvalike Uppanda. Before that, I wish I could have learnt language. I wish I could be more closer to people of Karnataka. And always they loved me, always they showered great love as an actor too. But now I would like to extend my love and my cultural respect for Karnataka. And I would like to start off with that. I would like to and learn Kannada language and few coming years I would like to speak in Kannada and I wish I could convey my heartfelt uh, respect for Kannada culture in forthcoming uh, years. So in short we can say that I came here uh, as I have taken the charge of forest uh, and uh, environment and pollution, pollution uh, board. My first thing was always there was a pain in me my first awareness in the forest was the Kannada Kantiriya Sri Rajkumar Ji's uh, Gandhadugudi. So Gandhadugudi is all about protecting your forest. However, DOFO, uh, forest officer safeguards the forest. 
and from uh, smuggling. So I was, in fact, I was sharing with my colleagues the other day with the, in Aranya Bhavan. I was sharing how the culture transformed. A hero was around 40 years back. He is someone who safeguards the forest. And now the hero is someone who does, who cuts away the forest and who is a smuggler. This we can understand. So Gandha the Gudi is all about safeguarding and nowadays the current cinema, of course I'm a part of the uh, cinema also, I, most of the time I hate, I mean, I struggle to do such films, I said, am I sending the right message? But of course cinema is different, but the cultural shift, what happened, that was quite interesting uh, for us. So here I would like to, though what I could not do in real, uh, real I mean, uh, real life, I mean cinema life, but I wish, I mean, I'm able to do it in real life and I'm uh, grateful for politics. I'm grateful for people for AAP for choosing me and getting me elected in, um, through Pitapuram and being taken charge as a deputy CM. And all this, all this power, whatever power I have and whatever influence I could do, it is more for an ecological uh, balance and of course uh, saving the Mother Earth and saving Vasudhaika Kutumbam. And it is not just for Earth, it is not just for few humans, it is for all of us. And me and Kandreji, we share the same uh, dream and same aspirations. And the moment he started speaking, the moment he initiated the dialogue, it was so amazing to learn from him, the man of such commitment, man of highest aspirations. And we could see that our bonding beyond politics, we could, I could uh, connect in at a personal level with Kandreji. And I would like to see in future will our relationship will grow together which would benefit both the states uh, countries. I am grateful to you for initiating this and uh, uh, supporting us. So in short we went for a seven point uh, uh, agenda. One is about red sand smuggling. The second one is about uh, IT initiatives, how uh, IT initiatives are uh, making wildlife management and forest management quite well through IT initiatives. And second is about uh, ecotourism uh, initiative, which Karnataka is at the uh, forefront. And of course about wildlife poaching and how to contain it, that is one aspect. 